Each airport has characteristics that can lead pilots to make errors that result in wrong surface operations, runway incursions, or other surface events. This video will enhance your situational awareness during airport operations by increasing your awareness of these challenges. Let's take a look at issues you might encounter at Frederick Municipal Airport from the flight deck. Frederick Municipal is a small general and corporate aviation airport located just east of the city of Frederick, Maryland. The traffic mix runs the spectrum from single-engine training aircraft up through some cabin-class jets. There is a robust helicopter community also based on the field. Pilots do not be surprised to see training helicopter traffic hovering over or near the taxiways. The occasional military helo can be found at FDK as well. Three flight schools offering pre-solo through advanced ratings add to the volume of traffic. The Aircraft Owners and Pilots Association, or AOPA headquarters, is also located at FDK. The runway configuration consists of two intersecting runways labeled 523 and 1230. Full-length parallel taxiways are found alongside each runway. The taxiway system provides access to all facilities located between the runways. Pilots be aware that Frederick Municipal lies within the Part 91.161 mandatory training area that surrounds the DC Special Flight Rules area. While the airspace at FDK is a straightforward class delta, the airport also lies in between the prohibited Area 40 and restricted Area 4009 to the north and the Washington DC Special Flight Rules area, Washington Tri-Area Class B airspace, and the Mode C ADSB out airspace to the south. Careful pre-flight planning will help pilots avoid entering any of these areas without proper authorization. Pilots need to be aware that FDK does not have any surveillance in the tower. Therefore, precise and accurate position reports when inbound to the airport are essential. Number 39, Quebec. Okay, Roger, thank you. And uh, how far out from the airport are you? I'm seven miles right now. Number 39, Quebec. Roger, thank you. One last item when arriving. Pilots are required to be in communication with the tower prior to entering the Class Delta airspace. Receiving flight following from Potomac approach does not relieve the pilot of this responsibility. Of note, jet aircraft should be aware of the 180 knot indicated airspeed limit within the 30 nautical mile SFRA circle. There are three hot spots on the airport. They are all located in the same general vicinity at the intersection of taxiways Alpha and Bravo and both runways. The issues are pretty much the same as well. Pilots are not following instructions or are unclear of their clearance and taxi past the hold short lines incurring the runways. To mitigate this issue, make sure you completely understand your taxi clearance, including route, turns, and hold short instructions prior to moving your aircraft, and continuously scan outside your aircraft for surface markings, above ground signage, and lights while moving. November 4639 Quebec, taxi across runway 23 on taxiway Bravo. Cross 23 on Bravo, 39 Quebec. One last item to be aware of, when getting ready to depart FDK, pilots please note that there are dedicated run-up areas on runway 523. However, there are none for runway 1230. Due to congestion, primarily when using runway 30, pilots are requested to complete their run-ups prior to taxi. If you need a run-up and don't want to do it on the ramp, contact Ground Control and they will help find you a suitable alternative. Also, if you are ever in doubt of any air traffic control clearance or instruction, the easiest answer is to ask the tower. They are there to help. Being aware of hotspots and other airport configuration issues at Frederick Municipal, along with the air traffic control tower, will help make your flight safer and more efficient. We hope this short video has helped you better prepare for your trip to Frederick Municipal Airport. It's always better to know before you go.